What is going on guys? It is your boy KMAC here and back by popular demand is the cartoon conspiracy theories and this one has been voted on by my audience by just you guys of course you guys I've seen a lot of comments on seeing the adventure time theory and I thought you know why not please the crowd give them what they want so I went ahead and looked this one up and it uh, it's pretty cool uh, it's not very long and it's not very detailed as some of the past ones like the Rugrats or the Ed, Ed and Eddie theory. It's a little bit shorter, um, but it's a pretty good one, I feel like. And just real quick, this gameplay in the back is just a, a run-of-the-mill bullshit uh, everyday game of Halo. But uh, let's jump into this theory. So first off, it says here that Finn was a 13-year-old boy who was extremely lonely, having no friends and being ignored by his mother, who was having a difficult time in enough trying to support him working two jobs his only friend was his loyal dog Jake uh, a few years later his dog died of old age after his dog's passing Finn got extremely depressed and attempted to commit suicide by popping a bunch of pills or something I don't know it doesn't really go into details about how he tried to commit suicide but all that's important is that he tried to commit suicide because he was extremely depressed because the dog dying was his only friend but um, rather than dying though he actually induced himself into a coma. He went to a vegetative state. So he didn't actually die. He's kind of being al um, kept alive, you know, by ventilators and tubes and what have you. And the whole vegetative state thing, that's really creepy. And I don't know what's, what the law is on like pulling the plug or not on that. We just talked about that in one of my philosophy classes. But getting off topic, but getting back to topic, the doctors didn't think that Finn was ever going to wake up and that he would pretty much be in this vegetative state for pretty much the rest of his life. But uh, what was taking on in his mind, even though he wasn't technically, you know, physically all there, in his mind he was back with Jake and he created this Adventure Time world with the uh, Ice Princess and all those badass characters. And it makes this show really funny and enjoyable for us. But um, in the world, Jake went on crazy adventures to save a princess that he was madly in love with. Uh, Jake had a girlfriend named La Lady Ranicorn, who happens to be a rainbow-colored unicorn. Who only spoke Korean, which only Jake could, of course, understand. Finn, however, on the other hand, was in love with the Princess Bubblegum, who ruled the Candy Kingdom, but could never decide whether Jake was his friend or lover. They don't know. They're just kind of stuck in the friend zone there. Um, shared a constant source of frustration for Finn. His greatest rival, however, was the Ice King, an evil dick. Everyone knows if you watch the show, he's a total dick. And he always tries to steal the girl from Finn. He's always trying to take the. Uh, uh, bubble, Princess Bubblegum away from him and whatever. I love how they give all these hilarious names. There's have been tripping acid or whatever to uh, come up with all these hilarious names. But um, that aside, this show is pretty hilarious. As far as cartoons go today, this is probably one of my favorites. Anyway, getting back to topic. Um, Ice, yeah, the uh, Ice King was always trying to steal Princess Bubblegum. We all know that bullshit story. He's a total dick beater trying to steal Finn's pussy. Trying to cock block and be an asshole. You know, the typical douchebag cock blocking antagonist of all cartoon shows. But um, as more and more characters came into the picture, more and more candy people, and more talking inanimate objects, and more time adventuring, and all kinds of fun stuff was going on, it had become clear that Finn was going completely insane inside of his own head. Um, you know, it's, everything there was just his thoughts and. Um, Things started getting a little more weird and weirder. Uh, BMO, for example, the talking computer thing. Um, you know, we're, the characters in, in the show were getting less and less human-like and more and more in, like, inanimate objects. And uh, he was really starting to really, really lose his grasp on reality. I mean, obviously, he didn't have a, a lot of that. He didn't have a big grasp on reality as he started talking to his dog and whatever. And it's all in his head, of course. But he, can't, he doesn't really, I don't really know if he knows that. I mean, there's no way of really knowing you're in a coma because when people don't come out of vegetative states very often, and they do, they don't really remember much from what I've heard. But um, yeah, pretty much Finn would remain in the coma until his dying days, going on insane adventures with his dog Jake and chasing after the, the poontang of Princess and all that fun stuff. Pretty much, you know, never aging, never, you know, changing at all. And it, that's pretty much it. It was forever adventure time in his head. And uh, that's pretty much the end of the theory, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's kind of a shorter one, like I said at the beginning of the video. But um, if you guys could go ahead and leave a like, that would be very much appreciated. Uh, it helps me out 
immensely, you guys, and helps this channel grow, helps these videos spread around. If you guys could like and favorite, and maybe um, even subscribe if you're new also, and um, leave a comment telling me which cartoon theory you guys want to see next. Um, I have a, on my channel, I have a playlist of all the ones that I've done previously, so you can go ahead and check those out so you're not suggesting ones I've already done, like the Rugrats or Hey Arnold or anything like that. Go ahead and look those up if you haven't already seen them. Like I said, leave a comment for which one you want to see next. Subscribe if you're new around here. And that's it, guys. Game the fuck on. Until next time, peace out. All right, like I said earlier, you guys can go ahead and subscribe if you're new around here by clicking the subscribe button in the top left corner. And uh, you guys can check out some of my other series, but I do these cartoon theories weekly. So go ahead and subscribe for that. And game the fuck on. Until next time, guys. Peace out. Take it easy. Friendly.